Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the KJD Show. I am your host, KJD. I'm going to talk a little bit about what's going on in the WWE storyline right now. As everybody knows, CM Punk turned heel when he attacked The Rock during the summer, during a match involving John Cena and Punk after the Big Show came out. Oh, some rumors are that he's connected to The Shield. My honest opinion, I don't believe he is. Sure, he's, they've helped him retain his title against Ryback and Cena a few times. But people also forget, Brad Maddox, a rogue referee who was accused of helping him de defeat Ryback at Hell in a Cell, also cheated AJ out in a match against Vicky Guerrero. Punk had nothing to do with that storyline, so... I think there's some evidence right there. Also, we haven't seen Punk in any sort of matches involving him. Involving the Shield. You know, him teaming up with them in any sort of tag team matches. Speaking of the Shield, I'm sure everybody remembered the TLC match they had against Ryback and Team Hell No. Who I think is probably the most popular tag team in the WWE right now. Um, <laughs> I actually think their segments have been more popular than the main event segments. Even better than John Cena's segments right now. And CM Punk even. Um, if you saw what happened when they were on Miz TV talking to the Miz before their match when they teamed up a ride back against the Shield. We even saw Daniel Bryan, who I call D. Bryan, go with the yes, 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 even though he's been screaming no obsessively lately. Um, you know, I think Miz TV's actually been very good for the WWE, him turning face even. I think it's made it better. You know, if you saw what happened with Team Road Scholars, the way how he owned Damian Sandow, making fun of him about his robe and his pink trunks that he wears, even impersonating his own, you're welcome. <laughs> I think The Miz is probably the best mid-card face in the company right now. I think Team Hell knows the best tag team, even though it's obvious since they have the tag team titles. I think there will be Team Road Scholars at the Royal Rumble. You know, about CM Punk cheating all the time. I think he will beat The Rock at the Royal Rumble. It's going to be interesting, because either way, we're going to all see them at the Elimination Chamber in New Orleans. Um, something just tells me that the storylines could be going in a huge direction soon. Dolph Ziggler having money in the bank. You know, who's going to be champion when he cashes in? Is the Big Show still going to hold the title? Is he going to... rub Dolph Ziggler the wrong way? Everybody saw Biggie Langston. and... Aligning himself with Dolph and AJ. Is he going to let Biggie Langston do his dirty work? Or something going to happen where Sheamus somehow wins the title and as soon as he wins it, Dolph comes out and cashes it on him? You know, I think there's a lot going on this year. I mean, coming up with all these storylines. Even the Intercontinental and the United States titles respectively seem to mean a lot more than they did at this point in time last year. You got Antonio Cesar saying no American can beat him holding the U.S. title. I sense we may see Jack Swagger come back, you know, because he had the all-American, American, American gimmick. Maybe he comes back and challenges him for the belt and wins as a face. Just something to think about. You know, I encourage everybody's opinion on here. As you know, that's why the, the KJD show is here. It's not my show, it's your show. I'll see y'all later. Merry Christmas, everybody.